Hi, Plinky have some wave table in it since the beginning, but casual user was not able to swap them easily. Things have no change because the Plinky community just released some new wave table set. It's really easy to chain them. The only thing you need to do is connect Plinky uh, by USB to your computer while pulling the encoder. So it will go in tunnel light mode and you just drag and drop the new wavetable files on it. Restart out. Everything is here. Um, so you have a link uh, from uh, GitHub on the you can download and try all the wavetable uh, on the description, but I have uh, a build one because uh, they release a simple application. You only just need to put uh, uh, 17 files, wave files, one single waveform in the same folder as the uh, application and you run it and it just create for you the files uh, and for upload in Plinky, you were table, you just create. So I made some, um, and I'm take the last two days building one uh, wave table uh, for Plinky, which have some soft sound or some hard sound for uh, small arpeggio or heavy bass line. So I will show you how it sounds. First, uh, the first thing you need to know is. Um, the wave table are uh, many times uh, lower in volume than the regular um, um, wave, so it's a good thing to add a slightly a distortion. Uh, let's hear. So let's match it. As you can hear, it's slightly lower in volume, so let's add some distortion, something like, like that. All right, so let's hear the wave. So first, uh, it will uh, morph to a sine wave, and then you have a well-folded sine wave, swapping the wave. The eight dubs sur uh, high sound and then wave folded wave once again. So uh, the things I love to do with this is use the start wave when it's uh, uh, simply a sine wave going to uh, fold. And uh, let's active the arpeggiator. I've already mapped the end up to the sensitivity. Let's reduce. All right, so now let's animate the uh, shapes. Wave table by using X, something like, something like that. Add some depth. Let's hear. Latch. Let's change the rate. Slightly more delay, like that. Let's add slightly some noise, something like two or three. As you can hear, uh, since Plinky have uh, an emulation of the low-pass gate, it works very well with complex waveforms um, and uh, with sign to wavefold that sign, you can really have some nice arpeggio like that. Then 
change the shapes. This is one of the use I like to do with the wavetable I've created. You have many sweet spots like that, or when it's easy to have a smooth sound going to a wave shaper, so you can create some interesting evolving, evolving chamber like this. But I have built the wavetable for another things, uh, and uh, it's a bass line. I love using scene on wave for let's sign for bass line. So let's um, stop uh, the arpeggiator. Okay. Let's bring back some sustain. With slightly of noise I've had before, really shine. Let's add slightly more distortion. That and I have um, another zone at the end of the wave table, especially for a thing like that. So moving from uh, heavy bass tone to more uh, feedback one uh, at the end of the wave shape, you have exactly the same thing. I hope uh, it will help you to understand how my wave table can sound. You can download uh, them, link in the description, and have them with the new wave table for Blinky. Bye bye.